more light bulbs with no shades. Whatever that means. What's up, everybody? Russ with rwresearch.com. So it's about uh, 9 o'clock at night or so. I just got done cleaning up the kitchen. And uh, I wanted to show you something, but it's been a while since I've uh, poked around at something just totally different. And this is it. So the same guy that gave me the big antique clock, the grandfather clock that I put back together, um, that guy's name is Peter. And uh, Peter's asked me to do a few things since then. And, uh, well, I have. So uh, one of the other things that he wanted me to try to do was look at this clock. Um, no, sorry. He wanted me to look at this music box. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. This is a cool piece. So this is a music box, and um, it's got some really nice looking woodwork on it. My lighting isn't that great. Let's see if this flashlight's too much. Oh, now it's not gonna work. It's got the nice key, uh, skeleton key front on it and the top here you can see really cool it looks like they took the same piece of wood and veneered it this way and veneered it that way same with the front and the sides that side's solid the back is also solid and this is one cool piece so let me open it up for you and show you what's in it Ta da! So this is a music box, and it's made by this, uh, I'm going to move my light, this Baker G Company, uh, G Baker Dash Troll Company, manufactured, manufactures Geneva. Those are the songs, and this is a serial number, and if I set you down, and open this guy this way there is a serial number right there 115433 uh, 15433 so this one's missing the first one maybe but anyway that's the serial number and uh, you can also see down in here this, uh, I'll open this first just to show you the tag and then I'll put it back. So there's the, uh, there's the tag. I don't really know the date on this. Um, it's fairly old, uh, but I don't know the date. It's got a little leather strap on here so that you can uh, open this glass front. And this whole box is actually a resonator. So you can see there's a, get my light, you can see there's a chamber down here that's cut out around the bottom. It's like a little viewport right there. It's a bad color light to be using, but um, you can see some stuff written on here too. So check this out. Look at all these freaking things. What the heck? Holy cow, man. Let's see if I can get an even better viewpoint of that. Okay. Look at all of those. I don't even need that light. Look at all of those points. I mean, I don't know what year this was made, but uh, that is crazy. So each one of these it looks like it's a slice. And uh, if I zoom in really close, you can see it looks like a slice. And um, each one of those was made with a pin in it. I really have no idea. It's some sort of a steel pin. You can see they're kind of rusty on this edge right there. So this is one of those wind-up music boxes. But there's something really unique about this one that I've never seen before. Each one of these pins on one of those little slices... You can see how close they are together. Okay, so each one of those pins is actually a different song. So there's seven songs on here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can count seven pins in there. 
And actually, it appears that those might not even be slices. Those might just be grooves, because you can see on, uh, like that one right there, that it's actually a center centerpiece. So what's what's unique about this? Like I said, it's got seven songs. So here's your indicator on which song is there to play. And this mechanism down here... Ooh, hit it with my ring. This mechanism down here, right there, is actually what changes the song. So I'll scroll through. Let's see if the lighting... I'll just try this. Let me actually try. Well, okay, anyway. Um, turn this on. Alright, so this guy, you can actually watch it move this over. Alright, this is a manual, a manual lever right here. And look, I just changed the song to two. And I can do that again. And I have to push this down because the spring, uh, spring thing isn't quite right. So you can see it move over. And what this is doing is it's actually pushing this pen against this cam. And as I go around, when we get to the last one, it slides off and returns to zero again. And that's actually how this goes back to song one. Now, this winding mechanism is pretty interesting too. It looks like one piece from here, but uh, there's actually a screw in there and it catches a pin as it, as it pivots around. And um, it's like there's multiple wind-up things inside of this single cylinder. And so the problem that I was having actually is that it was it was catching. Um, you can see it down there. I'll I'll turn it on here so you can see it. But it was catching, and um, that was the problem. It would only wind up once, and it wouldn't wind up all of them. So then you can see here the the different uh, thingamabobs, and you can see there's actually weights. You can see there's weights down here. So they're actually down long ways too. It's hard to see that from the top, but they are. They actually hang down. You can see it from this angle a little bit. Get the light right. You can see them hanging down in there. So not only are they different lakes, but they have different weights on them. So this is like the high end, a high pitch, and this is like the low end or the base. Now some of these pins are actually broken, like that one. And that kind of sucks. Um, but I can't repair that. So let me show you how this uh, let me show you how this thing winds up. So you just pull this lever right here up, all right, and it, and it winds up. Now you can see that little pin on there. I'm actually going to turn this thing on, and I'm going to let it run, and I'm going to stop it so we can see the mechanism. keeps it keeps it in the rhythm. I'm gonna set this here so we can see what's going on. So check it out. As I wind this guy, watch what happens. You see this, you see this little pin right there? Let me zoom in. That little pin catches inside here and spin this. It's almost like there's multiple things in here. I wish I could take this apart and look because it sounds fascinating but I'll never get it together. So watch what happens. It catches right there, pivots that piece, keeps winding. Now we're on a second winding. And then again. And again. That's a lot of, a lot of winding. Now eventually, 
it'll get to a point where it'll catch right there. That's it. it won't go any further. So what I actually had to manipulate was this screw is kind of like an adjustment for this and it allows it to fit just right. So I actually had to, uh, to adjust that. Now one other thing I should note and I'm just going to let it run I'll stop it in a second. Alright so one other thing I should note is this is actually a red ruby of some kind. See that? So this is actually pivoting on a, on a red ruby, a diamond, and I don't know if there's one on the bottom. Um, it's hard it's hard to see down there, but I want to see so you can see through that light. Uh, you're not gonna be able to, but you can see it. It's actually pivoting on that guy. And I believe there's one at the bottom, but I just can't quite see it. So um, get my flashlight back out of here. So if I hit stop, it will actually stop on its own. Like that. It was right there at the end. I couldn't let it go. So that was the first saw. So now what happens if I put this on repeat, alright, there's a repeat and a change and a stop and a play. So play just releases this little lever down here and, uh, and pulls this guy up. All right, and it allows it to, to spin free. And uh, when this comes back around, this little pin, again, I need some more lighting. This little pin falls into that notch right there, and that's how it actually stops. You see that, that little notch right there? It follows that groove all the way around, it comes around, and then stops. And that just catches right there on that little lever. And that is attached to the flywheel, or the two wings here. And uh, as it goes around, you can see how I manually uh, changed it just a second ago. But you can also flip this like this, and now that guy catches that pin every single time. So, if I hit play... It's on song two. So now, if I hit play, it's going to switch to the next song. Ready? There it went. Now, the front is actually needs to be closed for the best sound. You can hear the difference. You can close it. It's quite loud.
next song. Depends on a gear and it just pushes it over and changes it. course it'll go back to one but that's it that's the very interesting very cool very loud music box all right hope you enjoyed look at all those pins holy cow this thing, by the way, is just uh, is just sitting on here, and it's just on a little pivot. So as this moves, see if I can kick it over. As this moves, it it just uh, just holds it in the right spot. Pretty simple. Needs a little lubrication here and there, but uh, pretty cool. So that's it. That's all I got for you. Um, yep. God bless. Have fun. Peace. Be thankful for what you have, people. Just so you know. Look around you. There's a lot of people who have less, even when you're in a bad situation. Keep up the faith. God bless you guys. Have a good day.